My name is Louise Dye and I'm Professor of Psychology at the Institute of Psychological Sciences at the University of Leeds. And I'm going to explain what is correlation and why this is a useful approach in psychology. I'll try to distinguish between correlative approaches from causal strategies and to show how these can be used to understand behaviour. Psychology, which is the science of human behaviour, uses certain strategies to investigate behaviour. Because we take a scientific approach and consider psychology to be a scientific study of behaviour, we want to start by formulating hypotheses, ideas, um, like for instance that androgens, the male hormones, might be linked to aggressive behaviour. And once we've formulated our hypothesis, we gather data to test it. So in this case, we might measure androgen levels of men and also measure how aggressive they are by, for instance, giving them a questionnaire to ask about their aggressive traits. Once we've collected our data, we want to use statistics to evaluate the data and to draw conclusions about how likely it is that the result that we've found could have occurred by chance. In this case then, with androgens and aggression, we'd be looking for a correlation between those two variables. In other words, we want to find out the probability of finding this outcome and how likely it is that it occurred by chance. So we can use different scientific strategies. If we use a correlative approach, we can examine relationships. That's contrasted with a causal approach. So in a correlative approach, we measure two variables and examine whether there's a relationship between the two variables. We also try to determine the direction and the strength of this relationship. The direction could be positive or negative and the strength could be weak or strong. And we need to be able to say whether this relationship is significant. Is it strong enough or stronger than we would expect by chance? 